Hey guys, so this is Cakewalk, and this is, um, I'm going to try to show you what I can. I do not have my guitar plugged in because I am using Streamlabs to record this, and I'm not sure how I can get the sound from Cakewalk and my guitar and everything into Streamlabs so you can hear it. But right now I'll just show you kind of the layout of it, and then... I'll uh, figure out how to get that work and then may probably do another video showing all the different sounds you can actually get. So right now, um, this is what it looks like. I have my track here where I did the Brian Adams solo. Um, I would play it but you wouldn't hear it. Um, so you have these six different channels and you can add more if you want but to get effects from it they all have a its own style to it right now but if you click here it says TH3 it opens this window here and then I'll, I'll just make this bigger so you can see it a lot better now over here where it says banks there's six different categories and then each one has like this one has 31 preset patches already so classic rock click this this is what you get you want metal uh, let's see pop Um, there's all different kinds of names a lot of them has classic rock or something so this is classic rock slash hard 80s um, I guess this is supposed to kind of represent like a Marshall amp you have clean crunch lead uh, the next one guitar hero Tram World, Big Stack 80, uh, a clean jazz tone, uh, you got dirty, all kinds. Um, so set number two has up to 15, and then it goes from 16 all the way to 128 to where you can make your own presets. Category three, same thing. Uh, it's just got different stuff for it. Four, again, same stuff. Uh, they just have different presets. Now, in number five, there's only nine or ten presets. So, like the '70s rock lead, this would be like the normal preset for the first um, right here the first channel um, number 11 this is my bass tone um, 80s ballads there's nothing here which should have been uh, because I made it it was the tone I got for the Brian Adams video that I just did so I have to I have to go back and load that back in and then save it but right now like I can get rid of this amp like, let me just get rid of all of it. Okay, fresh start. Let's go with modern amp. Okay, right here. Add matching cabinet. You can say yes, no. That way you can do a different cabinet if you want. Let's just say yes. Um, say you don't want that cabinet 
come down here to the cabinets you have a 1x12 blues or blue lux 2x12 british state uh, 2x12 dark uh, dark face 65s 4x12 england 4x12 green just all different kinds uh, a 4x12 vintage Like you just do all different um, kinds of combos if you want. Say you don't even want this amp. Say you want to go with the Rock 900, which is a which is modeled after the Marshall JCM 900. Um, it will tell you off on the side here what it's all modeled after um, so like if they can't say Marshall on this um, maybe copyrights or something they just have it labeled as rock so the British state um, 2x12s is modeled after the Marshall Valve State, the 2x12 Dark Face 65s are modeled, out, modeled after the Fender Twin 65s. So if you want Marshall and Marshall stack or cabinet, you can do it like that. Um, say you want to add a Tube Screamer. Um, let's see, so you might want a noise gate, put the noise gate there, you could throw in your uh, volume pedal if you want, or a wall pedal. Um, let's see, get you a compressor, get you a fuzz, the boss CE2, um, on here, it's just called the CHR2, but it's modeled after the boss CE2. So yeah, you can, you know, have that as like a setup. I mean, if you want, you can keep this here and run out of two sets of different cabinets. You can have two amps. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool um, so let me uh, load this back oh. I'll have to actually exit out to load it back in so I can save my tone here um, can't remember if I showed you have a tuner up here, um, your tempo, stuff like that. Right here you have your metronome, and then you click this middle button to have it um, actually have the count going while you're playing. Here you can set your stuff um, so yeah let me uh, I'm loading into a different file 
so I can load my other one back in and have my uh, presets so this here um, was guitars and Cadillacs which I did the video of tonight nope did not save it so I'm actually going to have to exit completely out and back in but yeah um, this is it um, if you don't want to go through all that you can just click over here on the side and kind of add in a couple of things but I like clicking this so I can actually see what I want to add in and then what you do is you go down here to save and that will save your preset and you can name it so yeah that is cakewalk guys and like I said I will try to do another video on it at some other point when I get the sound of my guitar and everything actually going through it because if I can do that then I might do a live stream on my channel and go through and talk more about it because with the Streamlabs I'll be able to have my webcam on while I'm doing it live time be able to read your comments and respond stuff like that so yeah um, I hope you guys uh, think it's interesting and might want to give it a shot